takes them like this. This is a strong person with a good giving heart. And he takes them, he just fuck, boom, boom. And he, I'll call your parents. Your mom wouldn't like that. Your mom wouldn't like, dude, shut the fuck up. I'm so done. I'm really, and what really, what really pissed me off behind just the stealing from little kids. It was more of lying to the fans, people who literally were battling with suicide, depression, drug addictions, that I all, I, I've gone through all of this. And that's why I was a big part of it. Not because of my followers, but because I was genuinely. You're just a genuine person, yeah. I was about that. Like, I really I was, Guess what? Dude, I wasn't allowed to do anything. I wasn't allowed to do anything other than to send them to hotlines. Damn. We literally did, we didn't do anything. We were instructed. We were instructed to reach out and say, Here's a hotline that you can call. Dude, you can look that up. Okay. How are you going to have a whole foundation and the only thing you're instructed to do? And I feel bad with the hotline. I genuinely, I genuinely believe that uh, the queen of Versailles, the, one, the woman whose daughter killed her, who overdosed, uh -huh. I genuinely believe she has no idea. I genuinely do. Like, I, I honestly could never see that happen. See it. Wait, so does she run her Instagram account or does somebody else run her Instagram account? No, bro, because that's how I reached out to her. It is so sad because she they are just scamming these kids. I don't want him. I don't want them to go to jail. What about Drew? Did you reach out to Drew? Cohen, don't don't message me. Cohen just DM me. He said, hit me back if you can. He sent me a voice message because you know what? Because Taiyi probably made him. Hey, hold on, hold on, hold on. No, Wait, no, no. Why, didn't, why didn't you reach out to Drew? I'm about to spit my shit. All right, man. Go, okay. go for it. Right before I went on tour. Right, I'm still going through a timeline. We're like two months in. Yeah. Right before I'm going to tour. Right. Um, Derek, Derek reaches out to me, right? And I'm like, that's hella weird because he's in Arzachi. How did he just yeah. get how did he just get in this tour? What this is weird. I don't know if I want to go. Mm -hmm. Which is why I didn't go to Creators Live. Because that man scares me. Bruh. He literally scares me. I was like, I'm not the here. first one to go. And then he made everybody go once he saw me going. He was trying to pull me out of it. And saying that they had a bunch of stuff going on for Fashion Week, which was bullshit, and they never did it. No, he, he lies. He lied to everyone about brand deals. He would say, you're making so much more money. Dude, I guarantee they aren't even getting paid yet. Like, dude, the amount of money that he has not, like, I have not even received is outrageous. I'm not going to lie. I haven't made I, – I barely made shit this past two months. I probably just, made like a thousand, two thousand dollars. You shouldn't. Hours. You shouldn't have to have a lot of followers or a lot of views to be able to make a living and like do your job yeah. if it is your passion. You show that you can do it. Rico, he believes in us. Mm -hmm. My views are terrible. Derek's views are great, and he treats us the same. Because guess what? He doesn't care. He genuinely cares about your mental health. I told. I told uh, Rico. I had a big brand deal. Right. It was like. I'm not even gonna say how much, but it was a, I was way more than I've ever made. Mm -hmm. And he and I was like, dude, I'm going through some stuff right now. I told him that I can't post. Like I'm posting once a day. I cannot do all these videos. Yeah. He was like, then don't. Take your time. Literally, he said, like, I could wait as long as I want, even like a month. Damn. He cares about your mental health. That's all that matters, bro. As long as you he Derek said he treats you better. Well, he, dude, maybe, I wish I would have fucking left way earlier. <laughs> Bro, and I told you to. Did I not? Oh yeah, but you didn't. You didn't did. tell me all this stuff, bro. I was scared. How do I know that you're not his, one of his little henchmen too? You know I wasn't. You know I never was. Yeah, facts. Okay, and then let me let me just get, let me just keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Push up. Mm, should I get started on Mike? Oh, nah. I don't even go there. But pretty much, that's the same man as tight. Same dude. Same thing. He's in on it. Yeah. I'm so I'm so sure he's in on it. If he's not, I'm sorry. You're just a bitch. Mike, if you're watching this. What? Damn. <laughs> Actually, you know what? You know what? Let me let me tell you something. I thought he just I, doesn't want to go home, like live under his mom's roof. Mike. Like he wants freedom. Mike, I love you, bro. You got me out that management. Oh shit, true. He did snitch. Shout out Mike, bro. And he's just all sorts of I'm just done. I'm just done. And you know what, Mike? Shout out you. Even though as soon as I left, you blocked me on everything. That no, nope, it's not that deep. It's not that deep. I was just subscribed to your Snapchat for however long. That that did not feel good. What the fuck? Gonna lie, but bro, Victoria I, is in serious danger, bro. Everybody is, dude. Bro, everyone like we are just done. Everybody you just know? needs to leave, Mike. I don't have a problem with you. 
I'm just I'm just tired of it, bro. Like all of all of this crap is stupid. Stupid as like the foundation has a good heart maybe behind it, but that shit got twisted by Ty. He does not Word. give he does not give a rat's ass. The amount of times he said, just go live and hold the book. He literally told me, just go live and hold the book and flip through the pictures. He literally go, told me to go to the page with the pictures. So I didn't have to read it. Shit. He did not care, bro. He does not care about any of y'all. He only cares about scamming. I don't have a problem with anyone in that management because y'all are all getting scammed and you're dumb as hell. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to beef with someone who's got the IQ of a peanut. Yeah. It's not worth it. Like, y'all, it's, and you guys all know, you've been told a million times. Everyone knows. Yeah. But even whenever Kobe left, I don't know what he stayed with us. We were like, Oh, I got a FaceTime. People fucking call me. We're, you're good. And we were like, bro, it's not worth it. Like, you you don't need to be feeling like this man is your father. Like, he is not. He has no authority in your life. He is a random ass yeah, dude. I swear, bro. See, look. Hey, David. David was with us the whole weekend, bro. And we were trying to tell, like, Cohen and Jiggy are getting scammed. And, like, this is bullshit. But they the, they just aren't saying anything to him because it's like their fucking dad. Ty's trying to act like their dad and shit. I don't even want to, like, have beef with no one. I don't want to be posted on T pages. I don't want any of that. I am just trying to inform the fans that this is a scam. Damn. You can still support them. You can still do whatever. Because in the long run, they are still influencers. They're still people, you know. But Taiyi, he lies about his age and his name, and he scams all these little kids. Whenever I left, whenever everyone else started leaving, guess what? Everyone's just leaving. And he's losing all these opportunities because he knows that me – Miles, Derek, Kobe. We talk to people who are like bigger creators outside of just Arsachi. Before yeah. that, you literally are in Vegas, so you cannot see other creators. So uh, you were literally in there, so you cannot figure out what a real management looks like. Rico is a real manager. He's a good dude. He cares about your mental. I'm trying to hit up Rico, he cares, boy. He keeps, you, he keeps you in Vegas and a little. I'm not even going to let go on living situation, but like he he just keeps you away from people, so he will never find out. You will never, you will never find out, and he will never get caught. He just wants to steal as much as he can from you. Tevin Slade, I know you're watching this right now, and if you're not, I know you're gonna see this. He's Kiss my ass. Oh, oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> Fucking love you, friend, bro. What was that thing he would do? What was that thing he would do whenever I would be really, whenever me and Derek would be really energetic? He would tell, uh, I think it was, it might be Rico. It was somebody, and he would just be like, I think I'm just gonna drop them. I think I'm just yeah. gonna. Drop that's that's his joke. Literally, literally for being ourselves. Yeah. What? You, you can't fucking joke about that shit. Like, no, it's it's more than that. Bro. It's just, I'm just tired of it. I'm just tired of it. Like, <laughs> I'm literally like I got no sleep. So I'm like I probably shouldn't be saying all this, but I'm just I'm just feeling it right now. Are you feeling? Know. If you feeling yourself, take take the show away, bro. This all all the uh, one second all of uh all every other manager. You know why nobody collabs with them? Because nobody's other manager lets them. Because you know why? It's a scam. It's stupid, bro. He will, like, it doesn't even matter if he's in your kid management, apparently, because he was still stealing money from Derek after he left, months later. I wanted to tell Derek. Jay, how, do, how, do I, how do I cancel everything? I didn't know which side Derek was on. I didn't know if Derek was on more of the Mike side or more of, like, the Khalil side, where he was free or with the mic where he was, like, oh. But, yeah. like, Dick right, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, Dick right, yeah, for sure. No, I understood. Still, like, it was, it's just, it, it's not, it's just, stu it's stupid. Derek, he found out, you know. Yeah. You know what? I'm just, I'm just. Yeah, Derek said something. He said, he was trying to change yeah. Kobe. That's why Kobe left. Because, yeah. True, Kobe, yeah, Kobe's independent as fuck. Yeah, and he was trying to make, and that's another thing Rico does. He lets us be ourselves. Yeah. But like he, I, oh, and there's I'm not even gonna say the name, but there are other people in here, managements, managers I've talked to. He is doing nothing, but none of them want anything to do with him. Whenever I told a management that I was a part of Arsachi a month earlier, they stopped talking to me. Oh shit! It, it, it remember that whole thing with uh, the, I'm not gonna say the name, but that YouTuber that I was supposed to work with that summer. Yep. I know who you're talking about. Yep. That man just stopped talking to me. That was it? Out of nowhere. Swear. I know. 
Bro, so I remember what, you being so, like, so hyped up about it until... I'm so excited. I'm not even going to... I'm just going to say who it was. Should I? Yeah, say it. One of the vlog squad managers. I was supposed to go out there because they thought my videos were hella funny. And guess what? Whenever I said I was with Tai, Hell no. Nah, you ain't coming. <laughs> and it was... No, it was literally fresh, fresh after Vegas, too. What? Like, right after. Because remember... Cause I, I, got, I remember you talking about that in Vegas and being, like, so excited. Yeah, I was hella hyped. Because... When you're not on a contract, so that's another yeah. thing. You're on a contract. He can't steal money if you're on a contract. If you're not on a contract, he can steal as much as he wants. Yeah. He don't got to tell you. He doesn't got to do nothing. He will lie to you and fear. He uses fear, bro. He'll act like he cares. He'll act like he doesn't need that. The second you're not doing something for him, you want to get dropped? You want to get dropped? You, Where to yeah, God? What are you going to do? Now? What are you going to do? What are you going to do? You're not pulling good views. Dude, chill. This isn't, this isn't your account. How, you, how, how are you helping me pull fucking good views? You aren't telling me shit. Bro, as soon as I left Arsachi 2, I gained 800k on TikTok. For real? 800k, bro. Shit, I bet. Yeah, I mean, you might as well just pop off then. I swear. Who? Bro, yeah, I'm ready to pop. Dude, I've literally been at 130 like k for like three months now. I swear to God. Yeah, bro, I was at, I was at, what was I at? I wasn't even at 130k. I was at like 115. Yeah, like one, yeah. I jumped up to like 178, 178, okay. and then I posted my girlfriend, and obviously people didn't like that, but who cares? Yeah. You know, because I'm happy. Fuck it, because you're happy. It's mental health, bro. That's the thing, bro. I am happy with this girl. Yeah. If you don't like it, that's cool. Whatever. Yeah, I have I'm, a girlfriend, too, and I'm completely happy with her. I've been posting her. Swear to God, if I had Tai, mm -mm, you're not doing that. Yeah. You're not doing that. No, no, no. This is brand deal territory. You're not doing any of that. <laughs> you only care about what money you can you bring. You care about in. scamming your ass. <laughs> I'm, I'm just tired of it, bro. He lies about his age and he lies about his name to his own people and his own. He works with fucking children. Is he stupid? okay? Hey, but low key, low key though, he he's got to be pretty smart to do all that shit. Low key, <laughs> he's smart. He's smart, but like he does not. He's a fucking bitch for it. Yeah.